Dick off. Then, when you finally get the balls to go for it, you're going down to unbutton your pants, reach in there, and you won't have a dick. Is that what you want? Um, no. Good, because I'll do it. You know, I'm not gonna let my best friend lose his scholarship because he can't pass a poetry class. Dude, you're getting into every other class, but you're failing this one because you're too busy scrolling around in your chair trying to tuck your boner under your leg before you burst all over the place. Hey, baby. Yeah, no, I know. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Those glasses. He's just so cute, you know? There's just something about him, the way he's always kind of wiggling in his chair. Like he's just, he's got this energy about him, like he's just gonna burst. I love that. Look, look, Jackie, all you have to do is go up and say hi. You should totally flirt with him. You can touch his chest just ever so gently, you know, and flash those sexy green eyes at him. Run your hand down his stomach like you're going. Whoa, Danielle! I like heading to class. Sorry. And also, I don't have green eyes. You do. I can see the long distance relationship thing is really working out for you. What? No, I love Michael! <laughs> We're doing great! I'm just saying that you, you should go for it. You know what? You're right. Just when he comes into class, I'm just gonna walk up to him and say hi. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what would happen if she ever said hi to you. She'd probably start crying or something. I mean, don't start crying just because a hot girl said hi to me, all right? That happened once. Whatever, dude. All right, you ready? Deep breath. You can do this. You good? I'm good. Let's do it. Jackie. <laughs> okay, bro, there she is. Now just stay relaxed. <sighs> All right, guys, take your seats. <sighs> Hi, Cooper. You can sit down now. So, your professor this week uh, decided to go off on this tangent that I just do not understand, I but the crux of it is eye. Melody and Telemachus. Lovers? I mean, <laughs> your professor sort of went off the deep end with this one, but. If you think about it, it actually might make sense. You know, she stays home and he's there the whole time, you know, just trying to get her to love her husband again, but, you know, she just doesn't. That's old news, you know, marriage goes stale. What can you do to resurrect it, right? You guys don't know about that yet, thank God. What to say every day when she looks at me with a question in class, but I'm staring at her face, then I guess she'll never see. That when my eyes look at hers, there's a thought that occurs, and it's taking control over me. I want to bone my TA. I want to bang her up against the wall. I want to bone my TA. Beauty and brains, baby, she's gone. against the chalkboard and again on her desk we'll round base two and base three simultaneously as i'm thinking what's gonna be next i want to bone my tea i want to bang her up against the wall i want to bone my tea Cooper! 
Hi, welcome back. I'm going to ask you one more time. How would you compare the symbolism of these two poems? Uh, simultaneously? Next time on College Musical. Now I guess there's someone else. Top. Yeah. Guess not.